barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to subscribe. I saw I just parked. I'm about to um, head over to uh, Leo Santa Cruz um, media workout. No, press conference. Final press conference. So, um, you know, I, you guys say I've been hard on Terrence Crawford and the wording was, was wrong. Um, I was I, I wasn't disclosing all the information that I had. I want you guys to go listen to 78's video, uh, his live that he did. Um, I would say I saw it this morning. So and he and I spoke early Monday, and that kind of forced my hand, not forced my hand, but inspired and encouraged me to talk about top rank and what they're dealing with, and how they're basically underselling and disrespecting and have no regards for Terrence Crawford, top rank wholeheartedly believes that Lomachenko is, is more marketable, he's better, they're putting more money behind him, uh, at most evident ESPN Plus versus ESPN, and, that, and I told you guys I'm not spending $7, and that's the reason why I'm not spending $7. If Terrence Crawford money is guaranteed whether I buy that $7 app or not, I'm not buying the app. If, if it was contingent upon it, I would think about it. But I'm not going. I'm not going to do it because of how they treated '78, and uh, it's it's just very distasteful in the climate that we're in. It's it's semi predictable, and and all y'all dumb motherfuckers gonna say we're race bait and all that. But basically, what happened? '78 applied for a credential, and you guys know he's overqualified overqualified for a credential based off of just analytics right not just because of he covers boxing and he has an opinion but let's just go simply off of analytics i believe he's over 50,000 subscribers uh pushes the envelope in terms of boxing conversation and he's one of the first youtube channels you you understand what i'm saying we, we've all been following him for years and just based off of analytics i personally believe he's overqualified you know regardless of who he wants to cover when he wants to cover and they declined him and they basically declined him because uh, he didn't have any Lomachenko videos up. But he had plenty. Obviously, you guys know he has plenty of Terrence Crawford videos up. And they basically declined him because they wanted him to, they wanted him to beg and claw and be a, be a black apologist to, to the white agenda. Um, and for him to get a... Uh, to get a uh, a credential and, and for that I say fuck you I don't I, I'm I, I'm not I'm not dumbing down anything to pacify and or satisfy you and and on a higher frequency I know we got to kiss ass so we can kick ass and and I've done videos on there are moments where we have to assimilate and uh, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more you know, there are some things that I put up with as a teacher and I still showed up the next day. There are some things that I put up in the boxing community and I still show up every day. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, uh, just know that you're not voiceless. You are still powerful. And I'm talking to my Latino brothers, too. I'm not just see the moment we realize we all I'm going to do a video on this one day. But I got to I have to uh, I have to delve back into my studies so I can give you guys the proper uh, the proper terms and the proper origins and the, the tribes and, and all that in terms of we come from one one <laughs> the, the first man ever on earth was in Africa and that's where civilization originated from but since I don't have the terms in front of me I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go that deep on this video but the moment us black and brown brothers realize that we are of the same blood. <laughs> Woo, this world go. Uh, you talk about flipping the world upside down. Fuck money. I'm not fuck money per se, but I'm talking about just if we minimize money and realize who we are and that we're a collective, we're a collective. I mean, just if you look at the slave triangle, the slave trade triangle, excuse me, that gives a lot of indicators that we are all one person. You, you know what I'm saying? The Tower of Babel and the interpretation of language have bamboozled and tricked us to make us believe that we're all different cultures. But when actually we're all subcultures of one culture, you know, and uh, but uh, the moment we get that, that we are one. And I know boxing and I know I've done videos on on uh, not necessarily segregation, but just how race plays a huge part 
in the box office demographic in terms of generating sales in terms of tickets and pay-per-view numbers so uh but as i digress back into why i was so hard on on terrence crawford the, the biggest reason was i knew top rank was disrespecting terrence crawford without a shadow of a doubt so i want them to look at themselves in the mirror and realize the mistakes that they're making right in terms of going to top rank with two hands open as opposed with two hands closed and like I'm the I'm the best fighter in the world. I need you to treat me as such. I need this budget, I need this, I need that, I need this opponent. And that's what I'm working towards. And Terrence Crawford has not. Now his, his 147 calendar, I mean uh opponent checklist will not be great. I'm just being honest. I mean I I can't see him fighting Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Earl Spence, Lamont Peterson, these guys. I don't see it happening. You know? I, I, I just don't. Not any time in the near future. Not unless it becomes personal between a fighter. You know how when it gets personal, they want to prove their point. But Earl Spence have nothing to prove. You know? And fights do happen. And sometimes they're overcooked. And this may be one of the ones that, that will be overcooked. You know? As you can see, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua has basically hit their height in terms of wanting to fight. If it doesn't happen by next spring, it's, it's going to begin to get overdue. You know what I mean? Overcooked, as the word I just used. So uh, that's the that's so so it's two prong. One because I already knew how Top Rank treated them, and two because of um, uh, 78 and I spoke early this week, Monday I believe, right? 78. I think we spoke like I'm talking to him, right? <laughs> 78. We spoke early this week, and I couldn't believe it, and, and I couldn't wait to jump on this story, but. Out of respect for him, it's his story. I, I have to, as I told him, I follow your lead, and so uh, I waited for him to drop the story, and I couldn't wait to do this video, and I had to drop the kids off at grandma's, and now I'm, now I'm about to uh, go into the uh, press conference. So, so that's the biggest reason why my words cannot do 78s no justice. So I would say go to his live. I think the live is the Canelo. He actually needs to edit it and put that in his own video. So 70, if you hear this, edit that piece out and make it its own video because I genuinely believe or do another video on it so people can can really, really full get the uh, really feel your tones and inflections and and, 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 and just the reality of that uh, of that experience you encountered. So 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 that's it, man. Abner Mares, Leo Santa Cruz is going to be an exciting fight. There's going to be over 13,000 people in there, I presume. We got the Charlos on the undercard. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be exhilarating. It's going to be fantastic. I sound like Don King. <laughs> so, anyways, man, I want you guys to have an awesome Thursday. Uh, Friday is looming. And, and, and you know what? I, I thought Fridays are like, it separates good to great. And, and and the reason why I think Friday separates the good to great is because a lot of y'all motherfuckers are just going to assume I'm off Saturday and Sunday, which is OK. I'm not condemning you for it. And then there's a other lot of you motherfuckers that believe I have two days off to work on my purpose. And the more days you work on your purpose, the more inclined that you are to reach your purpose. And um uh, Will Smith has a great story about he and his father built the wall one summer and he asked his father how do you build a wall his father said one brick at a time and how do you build your purpose when you have a nine to five job you know one Saturday at a time one Sunday at a time the next week one Saturday at a time one Sunday at a time and next thing you know your purpose is right before your eyes and then the, the, the great thing about when you're building a wall, one brick at a time, the next weekend when you go add another brick to that wall, the same person that walked by you at the same time the week before is going to look and be like, man, this guy is really diligent. Maybe I'll come down and help him for 30 minutes or an hour. And, 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 and that's a parallel to your, uh, to your purpose. When people see you working and real diligent on your purpose, guess what? They're more inclined to help you. I have so many people... You guys don't follow me on Instagram. I do uh, minute motivations on on Instagram, but just get. I, I talked about how Master P inspired me, man. Master P trusted me with his son for two years, 
Little Romeo. And I and literally, Rome and I talked every day for two years. Like I was literally his mentor, his his trainer, whatever the case may be. And 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 he's gone on to greater things. And and I'm appreciative of the opportunity. But the the, the mounds of wisdom that I learned from him and being he's a you talk about a hands-on father. That motherfucker is super duper hands-on. You know what I mean? Very prideful, very proud. Uh, knows who we are, knows who he is, excuse me. And uh, but if you guys get a chance, go to my Instagram page and I I I, I tell that story a little bit better. But uh your purpose is so powerful, man. And it's gonna be people that's gonna help you. It's gonna be people that help you build a brick wall, Master P. The reason why I use the word Ma his name Master P because it it's uh it'll cause a reaction out of you, right? If I say my brother, you guys, oh, just your brother. But if I say Master P, oh, damn, you know Master P? Damn, that's pretty dope, right? So, uh, uh, anyways, man, people are, are gonna, people are willing to help people reach their purpose. Flat out, no doubt. I'm a firm believer in it. You understand what I'm saying? There's thousands and thousands of people that I will never, ever meet. They're my ancestors that prepared this earth for 2018 we're in. You know what I mean? That I'll never, ever meet. But spiritually, we'll meet one day. And your spirit never dies. Energy never dies. It only could be transferred. So uh, I know I'm speaking on higher frequencies right now, higher vibrations. But it, it is what it is. Have a great Thursday, y'all. And we're going to get it popping. Leo Santa Cruz, Adam Amarez coverage has officially started. Terrence Crawford, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know if you... Uh, it's on you. It's literally on Team Crawford, man. So anyways, man, barbershop conversation, man. Feel free to subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.